My name is Emma, and I am honored to welcome you to this beautiful union between Tony and Caitlin. First, I want to take the opportunity uh, to recognize Mr. and Mrs. Orley here and uh, my mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, for, uh, you know, without them, none of this would have happened, so give it up for them. I'm so happy that this day has finally come and so honored to be a part of Caitlin and Tony's wedding. A couple we have known and adored for many years. A partnership that has navigated some of life's biggest moments and multiple time zones to get here in front of you today. There are so many reasons that I knew that you were the one and here are just a few. Our extreme hatred for mushrooms, even though we are both up for trying basically any other food. Just so that you all know, um, I made it very clear I was not gonna drink before I had to do the speech. The groom, Caitlin wanted to drink champagne this morning, we compromised, and now I'm a few shots in. I promise that through every argument we have, I will always love you, even if I don't like you in that moment. <laughs> uh, I'm Tony's older brother, and y'all probably gonna hear me say the word y'all a lot, and that's because I'm from the great state of Texas. During college, Tony used to come visit me during his uh, school breaks, during his summer breaks, and uh, in other words, that means I'd spent three months or so just begging him to pick up his dirty socks from the floor. Caitlin, that's your job now. <laughs> I remember when Caitlin told me that she had met a guy in her hospitality class. He was cute, funny, and made her laugh. I wonder how that guy's doing. <laughs> no, it was Tony. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith, give it up for sat me and Tony down to watch a documentary of a uh, pop icon and I finally undoubtedly realized who Caitlin's true love really is. Beyonce. <laughs> and Tony, I'm glad you put a ring on it. Wow. <laughs> Look at you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> You're gonna get me messed up. Uh, you look very nice. Thank you. Not, not, not as good as you. <laughs> okay, turn around. <laughs> now we come to one of my favorite parts. Tony and Caitlin have written their own vows to one another. <laughs> Tony. You and I met by fate. This love is like the ocean. Neither of us were looking for anything other than to get to our 8 a.m. class of tea room, but there were certainly other plans in the cards for us. It's like falling rain on the driest. When I was younger and I was bored, my mom would sometimes say, do a puzzle. As a child, putting together a puzzle can be relatively easy. Each piece is made specifically for the purpose of joining together to create something bigger than its individual. You can make me laugh for hours on end just being yourself. Your curiosity and eagerness to learn more about things and how you teach me something new every single day. You have the greatest memory and are always able to remember the special details about all the great times that we've had together. You have been so supportive with my career and have always encouraged me to challenge myself and grow. As we grow older, we continue to solve puzzles of all different kinds as we complete a very special puzzle together here today, there is so much that lies ahead of us. That is why I promise to continue to solve puzzles with you as my wife, no matter if we are working on an enjoyable puzzle or a difficult one. I will always be by your side to ensure the pieces fit. This love is like the church bell. 
Every time I would go visit Caitlin, Tony would come and hang out with us, and it was like I had known him my whole life. He just fit. You know, Caitlin, this is the part where I'm supposed to welcome you to the family uh, tonight, but in all honesty, you've been part of the family for a while now. In one of those classes, there was somebody in there very, very special. He didn't know it at the time. We didn't know it at the time, but we know it now. Caitlin, we're happy to have you in the family. We were lucky. We thought we never planned to have one child, but we had one beautiful daughter, really pretty easy to raise. And now we want to. <laughs> and now we want to welcome a son to the family. Uh, together they have this beautiful unified focus on the big picture and on what really matters in life. Uh, 30 years that I've known Tony and I can say that those years that he's known Caitlin have been his best. I've always seen Caitlin as my rock. She's been there for me through every phase of my life. Though life has taken us both to many different places, Every time I see Caitlin, it's like no time has passed. Not only has Caitlin stayed constant as a friend in my life, but she has also stayed constant in who she is as a person. Despite what challenges the future holds, I know that you will continue to be the best. And may you always bring out each other's best. And I'm gonna implore all of y'all to join me in wishing them the best. Cheers to Tony and Caitlin. Let's raise our glasses to Caitlin and Tony. Cheers. If you take out your glasses and give a toast to, I, I have a hard time pronouncing Tony's last name. It's kind of unusual. Uh, Smith, oh, okay, I keep forgetting. Cheers, cheers to all. I will help you and guide you, be a shoulder for you to lean on. I'm your best friend and I will do anything for you. There is no doubt in my mind that you are the person intended for me and the other half that makes me whole. When I am with you, I feel complete. You brighten up a room when you walk into it and your happiness radiates like the sun here today. I love you so much, Caitlin, and you have made me the happiest and most luckiest husband in the world. We have lived in five different places and crossed state lines three times to move together. This has very quickly taught me that home isn't a place, but instead a person. Home is wherever I'm with you. I love you, Anthony Smith. <laughs>